Hey friends, Nora and I are taking some time at Jones Gap State Park. She's pretty pooped from our hike to Rainbow Falls. She's taking a little nap in the dirt here. But this is a video I've wanted to make for a good while. Just how I started solo backpacking. This is not the end all to be all only way to do this. This is just sharing my experience of the steps I took and things I did to kind of give myself a little bit of confidence to do overnight trips alone. And hopefully something I share you can pull a little bit of wisdom from. So the first thing that I did was I picked a park close to home and this was Congaree National Park, not too far, but just far enough to feel like I'm going away somewhere. And I did an overnight, it was a mile, mile and a half hike into the camp spot and staying at a state park, national park, or even a campground is a pretty good way to be in, I guess like a controlled environment where you've got rangers on site if you know you have an emergency. You've also got other campers close by to you that kind of give you a sense of comfort. While yes, it's just you at your campsite, you're not completely alone. And doing this kind of like base camping also gives you kind of a sense of security, like I'm gonna go out on the trails during the day, hike, see the sights and what all is out there, but I've got camp to come back to and you're not really overwhelming yourself with all of the things that go into backpacking, like planning your route and where you're gonna camp each night and that stress of, you know, if I get to my campsite and it's already full or already taken, you know, what's the next backup plan, you've got camp to come back to. It's baby steps. Building just your confidence of going out on trails by yourself during the day and then you come back here and kind of get the hang of all the chores like filtering water and cooking your meals, hanging your food, and depending on where you camp, most campsites are close to a water source and depending on the area, some campgrounds and state parks whatever have bare cables available um, but if not it's a learning opportunity just watch out when that rock bag comes back after you throw the line because you don't want to get smacked in the face but um, yeah so that's pretty much the first step I took was I found a park uh, a controlled campground environment I felt comfortable with and stayed overnight there once I'd done that, I decided to branch out a little and do a whole weekend on trails I'm familiar with and even try primitive camping this time. So the Palmetto Trail and Foothills Trail were a great resource for this. Lots of little camp spots on those trails that are easily accessible and you don't have to hike, you know, 10, 15 miles out to if you don't want to. Yes, you can plan a route like that, but even if you just want to do five miles, maybe even less than that, um, there were lots of access points on the Foothills Trail and on the Palmetto Trail to kind of figure out what I wanted to do for those weekend trips. Again, as I built that confidence and figured out kind of my routine and what I was doing. And for some of the ones that I didn't feel 100% about, I day hiked. So visiting friends and family in the area, I went out and day hiked that little section, kind of took a note of where the campsites were, and then when I felt ready, I actually went out and made, you know, a route plan to do a loop or an out and back, and I was in an area that I felt comfortable in because I was familiar with it. I knew a little bit about where the campsites were, where my water sources were, what kind of terrain I was dealing with, so that was something else day hiking an area before I went out and did a weekend trip. So then I guess what I would call the third thing is learning to embrace that lonely feeling. And 
sometimes I'm really good at this and other times I'm just terrible at it and all I can think about is I miss my dogs, I miss my husband, I want to go home. Um, but just kind of embracing that feeling of, okay, it's just me out here. And I don't know about you, but something that um, I've found sometimes happens is I'll mistake that lonely feeling for anxiety or even danger. So I have to take a minute and stop and say, okay, what's wrong here? Am I actually in a dangerous situation? Is anything actually wrong? Or am I just uncomfortable with this feeling I don't like? And if it's just that I'm uncomfortable, I don't like this feeling, then I have to take a minute to calm down, suck it up. Um, praying really helps with it, doing my Bible study in that moment, reading a book, listening to a podcast, something to kind of take your mind off of itself. Because you can really psych yourself out into thinking, uh, that things are bad when they're not. It's been kind of helpful to also think about it as a luxury. So I know my brain starts to go crazy when I'm a little bit bored and there isn't a lot to do at camp. And so I kind of have to look at it a different way and view it as a luxury. How often does it get to be just me? And how often do I have nothing to do? Um, life is so busy, so fast paced and demanding, having just time to sit and stare out into the darkness if it's at night at camp or just hang out in my hammock or take a little extra time to walk around up and down the trail around the camp, just taking in those moments and viewing them as um, something that you don't ordinarily get to do and should enjoy now because before you know it, it'll be over and you'll be back to, you know, whatever fast pace, uh, high demand things life is throwing at you. So going on overnight trips by myself and backpacking alone is not something that just happened all at once. It was a pretty slow going process of building that confidence and figuring out what I'm doing and where I want to go and getting familiar with areas, kind of making favorites and then kind of getting more experience here and there. Just to sum up, number one, finding a place where I would feel safe, secure, whatever the word is to do just an overnight and see how it goes then doing a weekend trip and then eventually building up to things like a week on the foothills trail a couple days on the art low being able to do things like that for me took some time and it's okay to just go on an overnight in a state park before you feel like you're ready to do you know 10 miles of backpacking and camping and all of that it's totally fine like i said i hope you find this helpful thank you so much for watching um, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you again next time. Tracing my footsteps through the wind.